Hi, Riverview kids. I miss you guys so much. I miss your big hugs every Sunday morning. I miss when you guys run up and tell me you have your Bible and you want that piece of candy. I miss singing and praising Jesus with you. I miss all of it. Mostly I miss getting to be in person with you and sharing Jesus together. So while we're apart, we're gonna try something new. Last time that we all met together, we talked about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and them getting thrown into the fiery furnace. And what happened? God saved them. Do you guys remember that skit? That was in absolutely incredible. Well, today we're gonna to continue that story in Daniel chapter six. So get your Bibles out, you guys. I want you guys to read Daniel chapter six. It's gonna talk about what happens to Daniel when he stands for God, when instead of praying to the king or praying to other gods, he prays to the one true God. What's gonna happen to him? It has to do with the lion's den. You guys are gonna see that soon. Also, parents, um, when you're done, when you guys have read through Daniel chapter six together, you've watched the skit that's gonna be coming up next. Get ready for that. There are going to be some opportunities to check out a couple links. Um, there's gonna be further study from today's teaching. You can ask questions together as a family. Um, there are going to be some packets um, that if you're able to print them off, have crossword puzzles, have little activities um, for younger kids, for older kids, there's an in-depth study. Parents, if you want to have some fun games for them, if you want to give them an opportunity just to dig deeper. And as a family, how cool is that you get to do it together? That's something we've never done before with these Sunday teachings. I just hope you really enjoy the skit that's about to come up next and that as a family, you guys get to connect over this teaching and that kids, you get to go deeper. All right, you guys, I miss you guys so much. Riverview kids, I hope you have a blast watching this skit and that together you get to walk with Daniel this week and stand for truth. All right, I'd like to introduce our cast today for our skit. We have Kira the lion, Maya is going to be Daniel, Eliza is going to be one of the supervisors who's trying to get Daniel eaten by the lions, and Ava is going to be our head Sam supervisor who's going to lead the charge to get Daniel accused and I'm going to be your narrator. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Leonard. I'm a lion. I'm sorry to say that lions sometimes eat people. Not a lot of people, just some people and just some of the time. Maybe just sometimes? But starting today, I'm going on a people-free diet. I'll explain why as I tell the story of Leonard the lion and Daniel. Excuse me, I think you've got the name of the story wrong. What? Well, I guess you're right. Thanks for pointing that out, Daniel. It's Leonard the lovable lion and some guy named Daniel. Not to be rude, but everybody knows the story is called Daniel and the lion's den. See, there is absolutely zero respect around here for lions. You make one mistake, you eat a few people, and what happens? The name of the story changes to somebody else. What is wrong with this world? Calm down. Calm down. Maybe you should just tell the story, okay? <sighs> Fine. Okay. Daniel and the lovable lion's den. Only these lions weren't too lovable. Not at first. They were fierce. They had big teeth, sharp, sharp teeth. And they were fast as the winds rushing at the cages. And they held up their claws, pawing at the air. Their claws were sharp as swords. Uh-huh. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so maybe their, their claws were as sharp as plastic knives you get at the drive through window? Anyways, some guy named Daniel loved God. It's gonna be about him. And there was a king who ruled the entire country. And there were some supervisors who helped the king run things. Wave supervisors. God made Daniel really, really smart. And he had big plans for him. He did a great job helping to run the country. The lions have something they want to say about Daniel. Are you ready? Go ahead. Daniel, Daniel, he's a man. If he can't do it, no one can. Everybody give the lion a round of applause. I love that so much. Could you do it for us one more time, lion? Daniel, Daniel, he's a man. If he can't do it, no one can. Woo, one more time. Thank you, fellow lion. 
Daniel did such a great job, the king wanted him to be in charge of those supervisors. Now wait just a minute. He's not the boss of me. Who are you? I am S Sam, the supervisor. I supervise the south side. Sam, the south side supervisor. Someone say that five times fast. Whew. But there's no Sam in the Bible account of Daniel's life. I know, I didn't get names. But I'm telling you, I'm more important than Daniel. Okay, okay, but I still think Daniel is the main character because he's the one who served God. That's what this whole story is about. Anyways, the king wanted to make Daniel boss and those other supervisors got a little jealous. They looked for ways to make Daniel look bad. See how they're always pointing at Daniel? We're watching you, buddy. The supervisors followed Daniel everywhere he went. They tried to trip him up. They tried to sneak around and see if they could find him praying to God. Because if they could find him praying to God, they were going to tell on him to the king. Because people were supposed to be just paying attention to the king. Now. Aha! That's it! We've got him, Daniel. Praise three times every day. So? That's not against the law. It will be in a minute. The supervisors went and told the king. Are they being tattletales? <gasps> if they didn't pray, if someone didn't pray to the king, but prayed to another god, they decided to make it a law. They were going to throw him in the lion's den. <gasps> Are you hungry? <gasps> that is what was going to happen. Now, why is it always the lion's den they want to throw the people into anyways? What if we're trying to cut down on our fat? Why don't they just throw them in the den of the tigers? Um, we don't have any tigers. What? No tigers? Good point. So, let's throw him into the den of the lions. See how Daniel is surrounded by the ferocious lion? The lion roared. He showed his teeth. And then the lion said, Daniel, Daniel, he's fresh meat. Daniel, Daniel, he's fresh meat. Now we've got a snack to eat. Now we got a snack to eat. Before we start, should we get a bib? What do you Before think? Before we start, should we get a bib? Oh no! The king has thrown him into the, blend, the den of the lions. Lion! He opened his mouth wider and wider and wide. Oh wait! I think this lion might have a cavity in there. Excuse me, can we get on with it? I'm about to be eaten here. Oh, just then, God shut the mouth of the lion. He tried to roar, but what came out? Nothing, no sound came out at all. Then the lion had something else to say. Daniel, Daniel, you're no fun. Daniel, Daniel, no, you're no fun. Without a bite, my dinner's done. Without a bite, my dinner is done. The king came to the lion's den the next morning and shouted, Daniel, are you there? We've got a lot of hungry lions in here because God saved me. Oh, here came the supervisors. What were they going to say? Then the king forgave the supervisors and gave them all a big Fat raises, right? Raises? You mean like you want to get money raises for all this hard work that you've done? Mm -hmm. Nope, I don't think so. He put them in the lion's den, and the lion spent his lunch munching and burping. And that's the story of Leonard the lion and some guy yeah. named Daniel. <laughs> Good job, girls. Come here. Go ahead and bow. Ready? Bow. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> So you guys, that was so much fun getting to do this skit with you. You guys can do this at home too. But guess what? There's going to be an opportunity for you guys to print off the lesson and do some, um, some crafts. So girls, 
Why don't you show them the craft they're going to get to do? All right, so one of the things you're going to get to do, come back right over here so they can see you. You want me to take this off? Yeah. Okay. You get to make a lion's head. Rawr, be a lion. You also get to make a little book. It's called Daniel in the Lion's Den. You guys get to color the book. And when you're done with it, you get to fold it up and have your own special story of Daniel in the Lion's Den. Parents, there are also printables available for you. We have questions today to get to dig deeper. For the younger kids, there's going to be a lesson and there are activities inside. We have word searches. We've got crafts. We have coloring sheets. And if you want to dig really deep for those little bit older kids, there's a full lesson plan in here. There are games. And there are special connections to make between these kids' lives and the practical application here from this story to their lives. You guys can help them with that. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. What do you want to say? Bye, Riverview Kids! Bye, Riverview Kids! Okay.